Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and with Wolverine getting a brand new uniform and an upgrade to tier 4, people are scrambling to build their Wolverines and they want to max him out and be make him as good as possible. And with that comes the unfortunate truth that you have to get the artifact in order to make Wolverine truly viable for PvP because that immortality, that HP cannot drop below 1% is insane it's very very good in in some cases it might be better than a revive because you're allowed to keep charging up your tier three and in this case your tier four skills so how do you get this artifact because that is the question that is inevitably going to be on everyone's mind who doesn't already have it um and the answer is it's going to be very tough so this video is going to be segmented into two parts i'm going to try to get through the information as quickly as possible but basically if you want to get wolverine's artifact you have two choices you can grind and farm and have a chance to get it or you can uh you know spend real money and you're guaranteed to get it for a price so we'll go through both of those so the first way that you can get it through simply grinding is probably one of the best ways and it is by grinding dimension rifts you can see here Jimeno opened a mythic one the higher the rarity of the rift so heroic legendary mythic the better rewards you get right the higher chance you have of, of getting higher drops right three star four star artifacts from the stages itself and the more celestial essence that you get and then you guys sort of know the trick here you go into the shop and you spend that celestial essence and you open up chests hoping to get the artifact right this is probably although it's one of the most difficult ways as yo that's a six star nebula no shot oh my god wow okay uh although this is one of the most difficult ways to get his artifact specifically because in this way, right, if you look at the table of rewards, you can get any artifact in the game. So there's about 100 artifacts in the game. You can get them in three, four, five, or six star variety. So you're looking at probably at least around a one in 400 chance, right? Because even if it doesn't roll on the generic artifacts and it rolls one of the unique artifacts, you only have four of the Wolverines, right? You have the Wolverine at three, four, five, and six stars, and that's it. Everything else that you get, like that, that six star Nebula could have been a six star Wolverine, and you sort of get the point. But I do, although this is the most difficult way to get it, I think this is also the best way. Because if you don't, even if you don't get Wolverine's artifact, you will probably get other characters' artifacts that you need. Or at worst, you get fodder artifacts at three, four, you know, at four, five, and six stars that you can use to re-roll. So this is the first grindy way to do it. Um, it's the one that takes the most patience, but I think it's the one with the biggest payoff. The next two, I don't think have as much payoff, but they are still ways to get his artifact. So... They are things that you should respect. So the first one here we've talked about already is timeline survival. You can do this every single day. You should do it when you don't have boost points and you, you've sort of burned through them because this does cost boost points. And basically you have a chance to get three to six of these chests. Now these chests can give you generic and often do give you just generic artifact, but they can also drop a three star version of a unique artifact. Now it's only three stars. So the pool is much smaller. So you technically have a higher chance to get his artifact, although the artifact is not as good, being that it's a three-star artifact. So it is what it is here, and Dimension uh, Timeline Survival has its own issues compared to just auto-playing Dimension Rifts, but this is another way to get his artifact. Another way to get his artifact through RNG grinding is from Alliance Battle Legend. Now you're going to need to score 2.5 million points on the particular day and apologies for not knowing which day it is but on every day of alliance battle legend you'll see here that when you score 2.5 million or above you will get a uh, artifact chest and it's a one to four star artifact chest and the character with the unique artifact that is featured changes every day so yesterday's unique character was emma frost so you had a chance when you opened the chest if you scored 2.5 million or higher to get her artifact at three or four stars this is one of the best ways in terms of your odds, but it all is also one of the lowest frequency ways because you can farm uh, Timeline Survival every day and you can also farm Celestial Essence every day, but you only have a chance to open the artifact chest that could have Wolf that would drop Wolverine's artifact once every two weeks because every single day it rotates to a different character, right? So it's very low frequency, but I, the chance of dropping Logan's artifact is obviously much, much higher. Um, but it does require you to be able to score 2.5 million points in uh, in ABL in order to get it. So that 
may be a difficult thing in and of itself, but it can be something to work towards with other parts of your roster. Unfortunately, the only other way to get his artifact at this point without spending money would be if the devs gave his artifact away for free in the personal collector's vault. Now we know that the personal collector's vault comes around once a month, every single month at the end of an update cycle. We just had one recently where they gave away um, Star Lord's artifact. So hopefully all of you guys pick that one up. Um, now, generally speaking, they don't choose the most hype character for an update to give the artifact to, um, you know, some, like, for example, in the Shadow Shell update where we got Spider-Man and Miles Morales as well. They ended up giving us War Tiger's artifact, which is which is pretty lame. So I wouldn't hold my breath hoping for Wolverines. I mean, Star-Lord's artifact is certainly good, and I'm glad that we got it for free. But obviously, most people were hoping that they would have given away, uh, you know, Adam Warlock's artifact. So you can see how there's a lot of speculation, but also a lot of doubt that they're going to give away Wolverines. But they could really give away any ones from this update. They could do Miles Morales. They could do eventually Spider-Gwen if she does end up getting a uniform, as the data mine points out. But they could also do, I mean, heck, they could do Saber. They could give away Sabertooth's artifact for free. We don't know, right? There's obviously a bunch of options, and we're not even talking about Miguel and Scorpion and Spot and Spider-Woman. So there's a lot of potential, right? Obviously, one of the potential targets is Wolverine. However, Wolverine is not thematic to the update, right? He's not part of the Spider-Verse. So it's, I think it's a very low probability that we get his artifact in the personal vault he may be one of the, the 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 spender vaults where you spend gold but those are a very very low chance and only one player will win every time it rotates so it's very very unlikely unfortunately that pretty much covers it for ways to get wolverine's artifact for free or by spending gold the only other way is in the daily artifact chest that you can open it's 2.3 million gold to open the chest they're right here and you can see it's an extremely low chance to get any of the unique artifacts in wolverine's case his is called the immortal warrior and as you can see the, th the three star variant has a 0.008 percent chance so super slim not impossible also very easy it's just a couple of clicks it doesn't take any content it doesn't take any gameplay it doesn't take any energy um, but it is a very very low chance and that basically does it for the ways to get it without paying now if you want to instead spend money you have two options available to you if you want to get it right now and, you, and money is not an object, then the easiest way, the fastest way is to buy crystals. You're going to need to buy about 13,000 crystals and you're going to have to purchase this chest um, up to 20 times. Now, it's possible that when you open up this chest, you're going to get his, his artifact. It's possible, right? Because this can drop three star and four star versions of all of the exclusive artifacts and it's guaranteed one exclusive artifact per pull. So you have like a one in 200 chance, right? To get Wolverine's artifact. It's possible. However, I said up to 20 times, because if you don't get his artifact, you're still going to get 12 of those tokens right at the top there in the left. And those tokens, once you've accumulated 230 of them, you can then go over to the next one, uh, which has the token icon. And then you can choose, you get a selector, a four star artifact selector. And these four star artifact selectors have every single artifact in them, even if they're very old artifacts from when the system was first introduced almost two years ago, including Wolverines. So this is a way, if you want to pay, to guarantee that you get it right away. You're only going to get a four-star version. You're not going to be able to get a five-star or a six-star version, but this is a guarantee. However, 13,000 crystals is like over $100, so it is a very expensive way to guarantee it. Luckily, there is one other option if you have a lot of patience and a lot of time, and that is to wait for the bingo at the end of November. Now, I know that saying this while making this video in June hurts a lot of players, especially if they wanted to enjoy their Wolverine now, and I'm telling you to wait like six months. Unfortunately, the anniversary had a bingo that just ended like a couple months ago, so it's a long time until the next one. But if you take a look here on my video that I made this year, or sorry, last year um, for the bingo, you can see that the level two reward and the level four reward are artifact selectors, and they're artifact selectors in a five and six star variety. Now, it takes on average 5,000 crystals to get through each level. So it'll take you about 10,000 for the level two reward or about 20,000 for the level four reward. Now, you're not just getting the rewards here. Remember, you're also getting the rewards on the bingo boards, which could be really good, like Odin's Blessing Selectors, Mythic Cards, and of course, the, um, you know, the best reward, the Mega Mythic Uniform Upgrade Ticket. However, if you take a look at the selectors, right? If you take a look at the selectors that you get from the stage two, level two and the level four they are all inclusive selectors 
So whereas the selector, the token selectors right now that are free only include characters from the last couple of update cycles. So it does not include Wolverines, unfortunately, as you can see here. And I don't think Wolverine is going to be added um, for the, the subsequent tokens for the next update. And the reason why I'm saying that is because some people might wonder, well, Alex, if Wolverine's getting a uniform now, then his, his, his artifact will be in the next token selector, right? No. If you take a look at this token selector, who's missing? Miles Morales is missing, even though Miles is was part of the update. The reason for Miles not being here is because Miles' artifact was actually released earlier this year, right? He got his artifact with his anniversary update back in January with Shadow Shell, Spider-Man Tier 4, and War Tiger. So they don't actually go based on the characters in the update. They go based on when the artifacts themselves are released. So it's just like the most recent artifacts from the last couple of cycles. So yeah, no chance for Wolverine to be in here at all, unless they, you know, drastically change something, which is unlikely. Um, so that just leaves the bingo. Now, again, the bingo is 10,000 crystals, which is a lot, but it's a lot cheaper than the 13,000 for the selector. And it's a five star rather than a four star. However, like I said, you will only be able to get it in November at the end of November for the Black Friday deals. Uh, and so until then, you'd sort of be uh, you sort of be struggling with Wolverine because he's not going to be nearly as good without his artifact however um just for what it's worth you know so people so people know the four star version of his artifact is actually good enough in my opinion where some people need a five star or a six star version uh the immortality artifacts they start at four seconds for three star and then they move up by one second so although seven seconds is really nice for a six star the four star which is so much cheaper and so much easier to get um has a five star immort or a five second immortality that's not bad at all. You're only losing out on two seconds of immortality, and you get basically all of the rest of the buffs the same. You get a little bit less healing, but Wolverine doesn't really need all that much healing. We know that. So hopefully this has been helpful. It's illuminating to see just how difficult it can be to target farm certain artifacts. Maybe the devs will see this video and see the frustration of players and make it easier, giving us maybe a new way through maybe GBR or another, another game mode to kind of target farm specific artifacts, especially for older characters like Wolverine, Shang-Chi, Sharon Rogers, etc. Um, but until then, hopefully these tips have been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button to help out the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.